Welcome to Attleboro Update. Thousands came out to vote in last Tuesday's citywide election. In the end, two new candidates have been elected to the Attleboro City Council in addition to three newcomers to the Attleboro School Committee. It was a busy night as we tabulated the winners and we spoke with several of their representatives to get their reaction to the evening's events. I, I, I really want to thank the people who came out and supported me and held signs. And, um, it's really a vote of confidence to be elected for an eighth time to serve the people of Attleboro. Um, I've, always can, I've always said I'm a public servant, I'm not a politician. Uh, this, sort of, this shows a democratic process works. Um, I will do my best the next two years to serve the people of Attleboro the way I have the last 14 years. I, I will not put a personal interest group or a purpose. I'm there for all the people. Um, but I, I want to thank them for their vote of confidence to reelect me to this office to serve them for another two years. The next two years we have some major projects to finish, downtown revitalization. Um, we've still got some permits to, to grant to the new co sports complex at, scheduled for Commerce Way. There's a lot to be done where it's going to be necessary for the new council to work together to support these projects. My role or my ambition is to make sure that common sense prevails, personal agendas get put to the side, and that we continue the progress that's been done in this city over the last six or eight years. We've been fortunate that the council has made the hard decisions to support some initiatives that weren't popular, and my objective the next two years is to make sure those initiatives don't fall by the wayside. I do want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for gave me the strength to get through this, especially after my father passed away. It's been very tough to try to do the campaigning with that going on, um, but also to have the, uh, the support of my family, uh, my, you know, my wife and my, and my children, uh, who are there every step of the way, uh, my campaign staff, but most importantly also, you know, the voters of War 3, you know, who listened uh, to, uh, uh, to our message, you know, saw the uh, work that I've been doing on behalf of them for the last uh, several years and came out uh, in great numbers to, uh, uh, to really like me. And I, I really appreciate them and the support they gave me today and uh, the pledges that I made to them. Or continue to fulfill on their behalf. Well, when you're running as somebody who has uh, served on the city council, you know that they have uh, a lot of experience in, in terms of running a campaign, and, and John's always been a good campaigner. Uh, so we knew going in that that was going to be one of the challenges: was how do you uh, how do you deal with somebody who um, is an experienced campaigner? Um, all my other races have been people who had not run or had not been in, in an elected position. So we knew that there was a greater challenge before us. Uh, so we developed a, a, an overall strategy. Uh, based on, uh, on the, uh, all the successes that we've been seeing in the city. Right. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. I'll be calling you for a tour. Oh, I won. I won tonight. Um, I, I worked real hard all day. We've been working for months um, to, to come to City Council and be able to be you know, participate here at the U and and to help hopefully grow Attleboro and help it um, think bigger and better, get more business, and, and just uh, keep Attleboro moving forward. It was really my time to serve. I, I run the farmer's market, as everyone knows, and I'm really passionate about Attleboro. And uh, when I'm passionate about something, I'm two feet in. So here I am, two feet in. Well, I'm hoping that um, my enthusiasm and passion for the city um, and my connections throughout the city with, the, with all sorts of people from one end of the city to the other, whatever their thoughts, ideas, and their passions are, I can bring to the table. Again, I hope to make Attleboro just